Hello and welcome to today's vlog and also a big thank you for clicking on a video about Brexit. Brexit day at the time of recording this video is tomorrow and the shambles that it is over the last two years is hopefully coming to a point where it's going to be sorted out and we will see what happens. But I wanted to sort of look at the subject in terms of photography. I think photography has already had its place in the whole Brexit issue because staying as neutral as possible, both sides of the coin were fed different imagery and perhaps lies to sway their votes. But I don't want to get into the whole voting aspect and who voted what and all that kind of stuff because it's happening. It's essentially happening tomorrow and I wanted to look at it from a photographer's point of view. So... If you've already got all your gear, if you own your camera body and your lens and your bag, unless you've got anything else to purchase equipment-wise, Brexit probably isn't going to affect you too much in terms of equipment. Obviously, depending on what deals have been made and trading stuff between countries, prices could go up, prices could go down. So that might be a positive or a negative for buying equipment, photography gear in the future. Then there's the aspect of travel. No one really knows what's going to happen with travel. The prices of that could go up and down. There could be issues regarding visas going into Europe and all that kind of stuff. I don't really know that much about it, but there could be issues with travel. If you're one of these people who travels for your photography into Europe, there could be problems, there could be issues, or... There might not be. It might be it might be pretty easy. It might be the same as as currently happening. So there's there's a few things to think about there if you're planning a photography trip. Of course, if you just stay in the UK and you're meandering around like I do in my camper van, the cost of diesel, petrol might increase, it might go down. The cost of everything, the cost of life, living, it could go up, it could go down. We're not really sure yet. So let's have a look at getting your images printed out that could that could go up that could go down it could be it's a bit of a everything's in the air the balls are in the air everything no one really knows what's going to happen so we kind of have to suck it and see and that's not a bad position to be in really because if we know that we're going to be affected by stuff it might discourage you to continue with your hobby or your pastime or even your job i'm 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 still going to get pictures printed out i'm still gonna head out in the camper van i'm still gonna go and take pictures of different places because i enjoy it it's kind of that thing if you enjoy it you you'll probably you'll probably do it anyway regardless of what happens but i think brexit and politics and that kind of thing can sort of take over our lives so i think there's a massive positive when we talk about Brexit in photography, because as much as stuff might cost more, it might cost less, there might be issues getting stuff printed, there might be travel problems, that kind of thing. The fact that you can pick up your camera, you can walk away from life, you can go and immerse yourself in the mountains, or if you're, if you're less able to walk anywhere, then you can drive somewhere and just enjoy the photography. I think the photography has pulled me through so much personally and I've done my mental health video before and it's pulled me through different aspects of life which would otherwise be difficult. I'm not saying they're not difficult and people do suffer but having something to focus on, having that photography and that reason to get up in the morning and that reason to get outside and that reason to pick up a camera and think about something else immersing yourself in the journey and the process of taking an image i think that is fantastic to do so if you're getting bogged down in brexit being tomorrow if you're getting bogged down in how it's going to affect you and you're a photographer i encourage you to pick up your camera get in the car or go for a walk go hiking somewhere go down to a nearby lake go to your local woodland and take some pictures take your mind off things and just enjoy the process because Brexit's going to happen regardless of what I do, what you do, and what we think. The country voted. The shambolic political parties are doing their worst to see us through. Like I was thinking the other day, we locked ourselves into a five-year 
mortgage because I'm self-employed and because my wife's self-employed. We locked ourselves into a five-year mortgage when Brexit was announced and we knew that we were going to leave the EU and we didn't know what was going to happen. We didn't know if rates were going to go up and down and that kind of thing. So we locked ourselves in for five years. That was over two years ago. So we only got about two and a half years left on our mortgage rates, our mortgage deal. So it was kind of, it was a good thing to do, but it was kind of a bit unnecessary as well for two and a half years before anything actually happened and anything's going to change and no one knows what's going to change at the moment. But I think having that photography mindset and that reason to go out and take pictures is definitely a good thing and it gets you out of the rigma and often nightmare of everyday life especially when we're talking about politics and the horrible word that is brexit so whatever you do tomorrow if you don't want to stay in and watch whatever brexit day unfolds into pick up your camera head outside and take some pictures and i'd love to see what you what you take what you where you go, where where you where you travel to, and what you achieve with your photography, because I think that is much more of a positive thing to share than the shambles of Brexit. Shambles is a good word for Brexit, isn't it? And I've, I've used it quite a lot in this vlog already, but hopefully, yeah, I, I kind of leave it there. But I just wanted to say that Brexit will affect everything, but if you have a reason to go out and enjoy life, then it can't affect every part of your life so as much of a historical event as it's going to be we can always pick up the camera and head out and take a picture also i forgot to say photography had its place with all the protests as well i've seen some fantastic street photography sort of protest march images so brexit isn't always a bad thing even though if you think it is a bad thing it's a good thing if you think it's a good thing but there's that sort of photography side of it so so yeah i'm yeah i'm kind of rambling i'm gonna go and get on i'm gonna go and take some more pictures somewhere and yeah enjoy brexit day whatever it brings and send me your pictures all right see you on the next one